YouTube. It's the next day again. Well, this won't be released till next week, but I got the uh, seam sealer in here. And I got the seam sealer in there, so looking better. No holes no more, but what I'm working on today is I'm cleaning up all my harnesses. Like here's my heater harness. I got this wrapped in uh, X, like engine bay Tessa tape. On the inside, I got the fuzzy Tessa tape so it don't rattle and vibrate on stuff. Got that through, made sure there's no cracks in the wire and everything, made sure that was good. Got that one done. Now I'm working on the uh, power window wires and power locks, but I realized this relay is bad. This is the power lock relay. Uh, yeah, I could buy another one of these. Uh, but I don't want to wait and I have to get it here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take two regular relays and modify it to fit. I also have two new wires ran through the power harness, pink and orange. This is going to be a uh, unlock trigger for like lock and unlock. That will go up to power these relays as well. I've already ran them up to the, this is what plugged into there, up to here for a keyless entry. Now, uh, I don't know if it can't, you can't feed back in 12 volts on an unlock circuit. I don't really know how that ought to read up on the system I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a very basic uh, unlock keyless entry and remote start. No security system. Just uh, probably a simple Viper unit. I'll mount it up under the dash somewhere in here. Probably up in this area somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's going to be, of course, I'll have a deal that comes off the engine, comes right over to it for a tack signal. Then I'll have a tack signal that runs up to the gauge cluster and all that stuff. And then I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to just power the ECM on when I do the remote start to uh, just power the ECM on. So have the ECM on and uh, not having the uh, interior s stuff on. But I'll probably tap into the ignition switch wiring and bring it down to the fuse block wherever my steering column is it's over there i'll probably tap that down there and bring that on that'll be uh i'll probably most likely uh make a uh relayed activator for that also i'll do a starter exciter wire and of course i'll need the tack signal and that's pretty much basically it for a keyless entry and unlock system so yeah, so it should work pretty good, hopefully. I was messing with this. I got the power uh, pinouts for the lock system. I'll post them down in the description, just so in case you guys care to know what the wiring schematic for uh, your unlocks. Uh, the relay for the factory gets its ground through the housing. So you're gonna, if I using using the other relays I'm going to use, I'm gonna have to go ahead and run my own ground, which that's not a problem. And I'll probably either cut this off and use it for, uh, might pop out these two spot welds and utilize it for the mounting tab for my uh, new relays. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to use a, I'm going to have to use my own ground, which I'll just ground to the, this mounts up underneath the uh, brake pedal assembly. I'll just go ahead and show you that right now. This mounts right, not there, but it's right here that's obviously not that extended it never should be but it mounts right here so ground's not going to be a problem so yeah it mounts right there from the factory what a bang what a boom and being this is not going to have a tack module uh we won't have to worry about mounting that there like i did in my uh square body so, anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, this is your unlock pigtail. This is your power winder pigtail. Same way over here. There's only two wires on it. Uh, which is odd because it don't. Yeah, it has a lock. I don't get how it works, I guess. Not 100%, unless this is your power lock. I can't remember 100%. 
I think this runs to your power lock motor. I think both these do. I don't know. I'm not uh, kind of confused off the top of my head. I have to pay attention, but this is just going to be modified. I'm going to do this with all interior fuzzy test of tape here. So it'll be nice and shouldn't rattle. I'm going to go end up doing the whole wiring harness or the whole wiring, uh, the fuse box. I got to get a new one of these. This thing's rotten, but they're like $44 from LMC. So I got to do the whole shit and shebang match there which I've also got to run some wires up for a couple extra gauges, but uh, I shouldn't actually have to. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the plug off for the uh, uh, factory cluster and get all the wiring figured out for that. Uh, but yeah, my goal is to be able to have a lot of plugs in places. So to take stuff out, I can unplug it. I ain't gotta cut wires. Uh, in case I do ever have to fix something or work on something, I can do it. I'm not going to be uh, building myself into a corner. But yeah. So, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these pig tails off and add my relays and stuff and uh, get this bad boy all taped up here. So, that's pretty much what I've been doing today. It's been kind of a short video, which not a lot going on other than getting the stuff seam sealed. And, uh, yeah, of course, I'm going to have to do some rust repair over right by where I seam sealed, so that almost likely get ground off in the end. But we'll have to add more seam sealer throughout this truck anyways because a lot of it needs ground out and replaced. A lot of floor needs, panels needs patched. I got some holes over here that's got some rust. Got some rust back in there. So, yeah, more rust than I uh, anticipated having. But the good news is back here around the fuel door and the fuel filler neck, Looks to be pretty clean. I just need to clean it up in PR 15 some spots and uh, finish taking some screws out that are all sorts of rusted in the holes. But uh, that shouldn't be a problem. We'll go ahead and clean everything up. And then when I get the new cover, we'll put the new cover on there. Seam seal around it. Seam seal up around the fenders. And the fenders, I got some rust over here I need to take care of. Got some rust up there I need to take care of. You know, just rust here and there. And then I'll have to get really excited after I actually paint the truck crawl up underneath it and just kind of scrape off some surface rust and uh, undercoat it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I'll just tie these up out the way for right now. Let's tape them up, mark a label of which what's unlock and what's lock. And uh, yeah, we'll simply, yeah, these are just gonna, these are just uh, relay triggers, so. That won't be a problem. But yeah, Oop. heater kicked on. So uh, anyways, that's a good uh, idea to change to, to turn the radio, or not turn the radio, turn the radio. Well, I'm gonna turn the radio up and uh, cut you guys off here. So yeah, got the heater box here. I tear this, I'm gonna take all the hoses and the control panel off of it. And I'm gonna end up pulling it completely apart like I did my K10, going through it, cleaning it up, lubing joints. Uh, probably take this and actually clean it up, make it look good. But yeah. That's pretty, put a new uh, heater core in it, clean everything up, put some new foam in here. But yeah, just basically clean everything up, make it look good again. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your week.